I don't understand. You spend the money to have, like, to build a park, to hire some people to build a park, and they build you this. One star, Victoria. This name is hilarious. Dookie Skate Park. Dookie. Alright guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. Just before we get into today's video, I just want to let you guys know we've just had a merch drop over at eveningmob.com. Go and check it out. We've got these mad six panel hats available. We've got sweaters, check them out. Got a dope panther on the front there. Got some chains down the sleeve. What else? We've even got, we've even got flags. So make sure you do head on over to eveningmob.com. Check out the new website, pick up some gear. All orders come with free stickers, so make sure you head on over and join the mob today. I didn't get a chance to skate this week because I got tattooed and I didn't want to risk skating on a fresh tattoo in case I kind of fell over and got it all mucked up, got it infected, or I was worried I'd damage the tattoo as well by like stretching the skin and stuff. So I had a pretty chill week, didn't get to go skate, but a pretty cool video plan for you guys today. There's actually an Australian website called skateboard.com.au and they have a feature on their website where you can browse parks from within Australia and around the world. So I've just been doing some browsing online, looking at parks within Australia and they give you a rating of one to five stars. I thought it'd be fun to check out some of Australia's worst rated skate parks. So that's what we're gonna do today. Before we start, if you're not subscribed here, make sure you hit that subscribe button, leave a thumbs up, check out the rest of my videos. But apart from that, guys, let's get into today's video. So pretty much skateboard.com.au, their website is, it's been open for a while. I think it's been running for like maybe 10, 15 years, but you just go onto the uh, skate park section here. So in the skate park section, it gives you a bunch of parks you can look through. It's got a search tool here, you can refine. So I'm gonna click Australia, and then I'm going to click advanced search and go to, let's start with one stars. Here we go, guys. Let's have a look at some of these parks, the worst rated parks in Australia, pretty keen to uh, see. What have we got here? I'm just gonna to try to find the worst ones for you guys so we can have a look. Here we go. Kirkstall Skate Park, Kirkstall. Two stars. One star, sorry, it's showing a one star rating. It looks to be like there was like an empty bit of tarmac in a park here and they've just put down a, a uh, <laughs> you know what it looks like? It looks like when you go and see like um, a musical performance like outside like in the park or something. It looks like an old stage and they've just chucked on like a quarter section, a down ramp here with a down rail and a two set. It's like, it says not so fun box. Kirkstall Victoria. So yeah, if you're a local here, let me know. If this is your local park, leave me a comment below and uh, maybe I'll come down and skate this park one day. <laughs> what were they thinking? Honestly, this is why councillors should really try to talk to the community and talk to skateboarders in the community and find out what's, um, what is ideal for uh, a skate park. Because look at it, what could you do here? It'd get hot in summer, so the top of this thing would be like beaming hot in summer. In winter, it'd become like moist, so there'd be like some condensation from the cold and it'd be slippery. I mean, if you wanted to learn how to kind of ollie off a two set, it'd be pretty cool. Um, but once you come down the down ramp here, you go down the down rail, you end up in the grass. So yeah, I can see why it's one star. Let's have a look at Rokewood Skate Park. Rokewood, two stars, two star rating. Let's find out why. One star, sorry, it always does that. It shows you one, one rating and then tells you another one once you click in. Old concrete park, similar to a heap of other nearby parks. Looks like it's at like a football field or something. Scroll down here, it's given us a few photos to look at. And we've got a, it looks like a quarter pipe, some type of fun box and then a bank. And that's about it. The cool thing about this website is you can actually leave a comment. But um, yeah, I'm not gonna bother logging in to leave a comment because there's nothing much I could really say about this park out at Rookwood, Victoria. Next park, next park, let's have a look. Why does West Epping have two stars? I bet you I'll click into it and it'll have three stars. No, it's got one. They've given West Epping a one star rating. I don't, I don't really agree with that because it may be a prefab park, but it's not that bad. I mean, it's only given us one photo to look at, but let's have a look. You've got, you've got a cool little manual pad slash ledge box thing here. You've got a spine and it looks like a little four foot quarter pipe and a flat bar 
and it's on a smooth bit of cement here next to it looks like a basketball court I'd at least give that two stars you know because it's got everything you need it's got a manual pad slash ledge box and a flat bar spine and a quarter pipe you could see I mean if you lived five minutes from here you could skate down and have a little roll in the afternoon but uh, you, could, you probably couldn't skate here all day because you'd get bored. I know I would get bored anyway. Powell Skate Park, Sydney. Let's have a look at this one purely because of the name. It's called Powell. It's got a one star rating. It looks like a prefab and they've just chucked it down and glued it to the ground here. Where is this? Oh, this is down the road. This is like near Liverpool. I know this park. Yeah, I've always driven past it because it's just off the main road there. I've never stopped to skate it, but um, a few of the locals I used to skate with have told me they used to skate here and uh, yeah I mean what's here you've got a massive quarter section I don't understand why they put big transition like this into small parks it looks like a five foot quarter pipe drops down to maybe a four foot a little fun box with like a little what do you call this a rail ledge petition um, what else has it got okay it's just pretty much quarter pipes and it looks like there's a little slappy curb down here maybe got a scooter kit in there yeah so it's just kind of quarter section and then that's it powerwell skate park eh? now this park doesn't really live up to the name but what can you do here we go linton skate park let's have a let's have a gander at this one one star victoria do we get any more photos no just the one photo what do we got here we've got a quarter pipe it looks like a little five foot quarter pipe to a fun box with some ledges going down the side here a hip a spine that's way too big to be in this park and a rolling bank where do i start guys let's let's start with this spine that's way too big to be at this park because how do you get speed to hit this from from the bank or from the quarter pipe without absolutely flogging it to get up to the other side of the bank I feel like if you cut a foot and a half off this spine, it'd be fun. But a lot of the people that have built parks in Australia back in the day weren't really kind of skateboarders or BMX riders or whatever. So they were just kind of hired to do the job. And I guess they were given plans by the council or from whoever to build these spots. So a lot of these older parks kind of don't really make sense. Here we go. Wyndham Park thing. Werribee. It's got half a star rating on the main page, but we click in and it's got no stars. It hasn't given us a star rating. So half a star for this park. I don't understand. You spend the money, you spend the money to have like to build a park, to hire some people to build a park and they build you this. Where do I begin? First of all, this ledge is way too big to be in this park. Look at the size of it. There's not enough space. So even if you do roll in from this bank, you hit this ledge. Once you land, you're pretty much landing in the other bank. There's no coping apart from the coping that runs around the whole outside of the park. And it looks like a little roller in the middle here. I feel like this would be ideal for those little three wheel scooter kids. You can just take them down to the park here. They can run around, ride their little scooters in here and be in no one's way. Maybe more parks should have spots like this. So it's like a separate park for little, little kids. That'll definitely make things a lot safer. Here's a good one. Federal Skate Park, Federal. I believe Federal's in the ACT. I could be wrong. I feel like it's in Canberra. Federal. New South Wales, sorry. So it's not in it's not in Canberra. Let's let's have a look. We've got a roll in here. It looks like there's some type of quarter. And then on the other side, there's a bank with a platform section at the top. And you've got a basketball hoop here. So everyone playing basketball here can uh, try to dodge everyone trying to skate this section here I don't know why I don't know why they think to put a basketball court in the middle of a skate park but they did the same thing at Carnes Hill and it used to cause problems all the time could never kind of skate because you always had to duck and dodge people playing basketball it looks like an old park though so maybe they didn't know any better I'm, I'm not too sure here's an here's another classic stage skate park New Haven fun box New Haven Victoria again What's with these parks down here, guys? A lot of Victorians are uh, forced to skate these subpar parks. And, it, and then again, it looks like a stage and they've added on a little bit of a transition here. It looks to be like two foot down ramp with a flat bar going down and then a two set. And that's pretty much it. At least it's near the beach. You can, you can go down to the beach, chill out, get some chips. 
maybe skate this thing if you want to have a bit of a giggle and then go back down to the beach to watch the sunset that sounds like a good day to me guys oh my god i think we've found the uh creme of the creme here guys las vegas fun box prospect Vale. where is prospect Vale? tasmania there you go shouts out to tassie let's have a look here you've got another concrete slab here it looks to be in a park or reserve behind some houses there's an alleyway you can walk up and someone has come it looks like the council might have come along and put this what do you call this a pyramid fun box as you can see it looks like they've tried to patch up the cracks at the bottom here it looks to be maybe two foot high i'm not too sure what you could do here you could probably ride the hip you could probably ollie over it you could probably if you had enough speed you could ollie it to flat but that is about it for prospect vale tasmania no comments. I'm not too sure why it's called Las Vegas Fun Box. Las Vegas is supposed to be fun. That place doesn't look fun at all. <laughs> Here we go. This name is hilarious. Dookie Skate Park. Dookie. Victoria, Australia. One star. It's got a ride-on flat bar here and a ledge with a bit of shade, which I feel like would encourage people to sit down on this ledge in the shade. Anyone that knows skate park etiquette, it sucks when people sit down on ledges you're trying to skate. I feel like they could have easily chucked in a couple benches here, maybe a picnic table, barbecue area. But uh, yeah, ledge and flat bar. Yep, here's hoping for stage two. Dookie, Victoria. Shouts out to Dookie in Victoria. Oh, and they've given Wangle. Let's, one more park before, before the end of this video. Let's have a look at Wangle. They've given Wangle Park one star. It's lame because this park is quite fun. I mean, it has smooth concrete. This is a photo of when it was raining here, obviously, but as you can see, it's all prefab. You've got a, it looks to be a nice little four foot quarter here with some decking. We've got a flat bar, got a fun box with a down, a flat down, sorry. Got some cool little funky box ledge type things you can skate on and got another roll in at the other side with a deck. Check it out, there's actually a kicker and a picnic table they've thrown in with coping on the side to skate. And one cool thing about this park is it's all made from like recycled plastic. So all the plastic bottles and all that stuff, it's all made from recycled plastic. So if you go and skate this park, you're doing something for the community because you're supporting recycled skate parks. Is that a thing, recycled skate parks? I guess it is because we have one here in Sydney. One star, I mean, that's not fair at all. I would have given it three stars personally, but I'm not too sure who does the ratings on this thing. That's pretty much it for this video, guys. Sorry there was no skateboarding in this. Like I said, I got tattooed and I didn't want to risk falling over and getting my tattoo infected or damaging my tattoo. Plus I was really sore, so I just wanted to have a week to chill. And I had the evening mob drop to deal with, so make sure you do head on over and check out the new website. All orders come with free stickers. That's right, guys, free stickers with all orders from this drop. Make sure you don't miss out. Thank you so much for tuning into the video. Shouts out to all the new subscribers. If you're not following me on Instagram already, make sure you head on over to Instagram, follow me at Enochism. If you're not following the mob on Instagram yet, make sure you follow the mob at Evening Mob. All the links will be in the description below. And yeah, comment down below what your local park is and I might do another video like this and I'll be able to uh, rate your local parks. Let me know if you guys wanna see that video. Shouts out to all the new subscribers. Until next time guys, thank you for watching the video and I'll catch you all in the next one.